we just, I don't know, assembled the best cast I've ever seen. <laughs>come up with the idea for the second best hospital of the galaxy well i was thinking about all these classic sci-fi films like you know the thing john carpenter's the thing there's this monster you know and it's evil and it, it's it's shape-shifting and it's eating things and then i thought wouldn't it be fun if that was a patient and they were like i can't stop eating people and shape-shifting and so it just these main the characters in these sci-fi dramas become these patients in our world that become funny and can get cured or treated or because they're they're a challenge and it kind of shows a perspective clip of who the villain is and are they really a victim do they need help yeah. i love that i love that why the second best hospital uh well because nebula general is the best <laughs> Uh, how 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 did you get this cast together? I like to voice your doctor. I mean, I knew Natasha from Russian Doll. I wrote on that, and when I brought when I came up with this idea, I brought it to her and Maya. They had a company, and then slowly it accumulated people through them or through the script itself and through our casting director Julie Ashton. And we just I don't know assembled the best cast I've ever seen. I feel so lucky. They're so incredible. They're so talented. They're so funny and they care so much uh to you like how funny they are on average how many takes would it get to get a take without everyone laughing oh yeah oh, to get them laughing With first take, <laughs> first take. <laughs> yeah almost always yeah every take was usable it was pretty it was pretty wild you just had a a, a smorgasbord of things to choose from <laughs> i wish i would hopefully like in dvd extras or something amazon uh, highlights i i hope so there are some beautiful things what amazon has X-ray. Oh, Amazon has X-ray, yeah. which I just learned. <laughs> uh, what do you hope fans take away from the series? Oh, I hope they take away a sense of warmth and acceptance and joy. And I think there's an element of I just want everyone to feel understood in the collective anxiety that we all feel and sort of the collective panic that we all feel and try to suppress. I think it's, I think we're already on our way there, but I just want everyone to be like, yes, we all have this. Everyone's always in a panic. Everyone's always uncomfortable. And this is the way it is. And I want that the more that we can have work and anything that lets people know that that's okay, the happier I am. So that's the hope. I love that. Last question. Uh, why is sometimes being second best better than being the best? Oh, great question. I think it gives you something to really aspire to. 